What the heck is an autotext and how can it help me? Let me show you a couple ways. Let's bring in the patient's current medications. And it auto pulls in the medications. Let's find out when this patient's last COVID shot was or the series of COVID vaccines. Here we go. And let's say we're doing a physical examination on this patient. And we want a document examination and here we go. So, and these are all pull down menus for these ones. So you can specify them as you please. These are just some of the ways that an auto text can help you out quickly and efficiently to document your notes. Okay, I'm going to make this a three part series. The first part, we're going to talk about what an auto text is and how it can help you in your daily progress note. The second part, we'll discuss how you can steal your auto text from your esteemed colleagues. And number three, We'll talk about how you can make auto text yourself. So, part one, auto text. What is it and how can it help me anyways? Well, to me, I think auto texting is one of the most powerful features of Cerner. Number one, it can help you save time by typing things over and over again. So let's do this by example. Uh, let's say you had a family meeting and you want to document that family meeting. So we can pull in a family meeting note that I've done in the past and this just automatically fills in who was at the meeting and what was discussed at that meeting. If there were things that you need to edit, you can always delete people who were not there. You can change this document as you need to. All questions were answered. And just save that and just put that into your document. So I've saved myself a lot of typing. So number two, it can gather a variety of information and collate it quite quickly for your document. Let's say for example we want to find out what cultures were positive for this patient that just recently had a fever. If you go in down into your menu here you can go and find out IE Micro and it helps pull in all the information from recent uh, swabs. Or you can pull in information like what the patient's most recent medications are and we can go into medications of that patient and here we go. And finally, it can generate templates for documentation, such as physical examinations. So let's do one for a back examination. And we can go through these pull down menus. Back was tender to the right side. Over the lumbar region, they had absent rectal tone. So that can be quickly documented. And it may also serve as a reminder to what not to miss as well. So how do we access these uh, auto text templates? Well, the Sonar Build team has made a few of them for us, and by a few, I probably mean a couple hundred. Just by typing in comma, comma, we'll bring in a menu for the Sonar Build team's templates. One of the ones that I find most useful is the ID Micro, and this will pull in the most recent culture results. We could pull in the code status by scrolling down into code status. The problem is there's no real way of knowing what Cerner Build Team has made for us without exploring this individually. So you'll have to set aside some time and go through all the comma comma lists to see what is available at your center. Or you might ask one of your associates about things that they found most useful. They keep adding to this all the time, so it does keep changing. And you might find something that's useful for you uh, down the road. I've also made my own auto text, and the way I access my templates is by comma comma comma. Um, and that brings in my own um, templates. And I'll show you how you can steal my templates uh, if you work within Vancouver Coastal Health in part two. Here, let's say I want to find out when the patient's last bowel movement was, for example. I can click on this and it'll quickly pull in from a variety of places in the documentation about what uh, the bowel movement looked like, when it was, the description of the stool amount for just sick people like me. Um, and once I've reviewed it, I can delete it so it doesn't get documented, but it just gives me information that, uh, about that bowel movement or when the last bowel movement was. So there you have it. That's uh, auto texting in a nutshell. In part two, I'll teach you how to steal these templates from your colleagues. And finally, in part three, I'll show you how to make these templates yourself. Okay, sayonara.